everybody, Keith K here with a, another Green Hell tutorial here from the jungles of South America, somewhere. And today we are going to take a look at the mud mixer. The mud mixer will be in your notebook uh, under the mud tab. And it will be the first thing that will come up um, once you have gone to the river um, and interacted with it. That should show up. Uh, sometimes I think you might have, need to take mud and then um, once you do that it will show up here and it is just uh, four sticks and eight logs so I like to keep it close to the river uh, as best I can so we'll place it here and you can see we need four sticks one two three four and then we're gonna need eight logs I happen to have a stash here but um, however you want to go about getting those, whether you pre-stash them or just place this on the ground and then start chopping trees down. You will need eight, so it's a little bit of work. And two more. One. Two. Okay. There we go. So now we've got our mud mixer built and we need, it shows you river mud here and then you'll need another one there. So you just go to um, any river really and you're gonna do take mud and then place it. Okay, you see how that works. So now you need a second one. And while you're doing this, you'll note that in the lower left hand corner, I've got a five mud. You don't want to feed yourself if you are hungry you definitely want to come to the river uh, and wash yourself until that goes down now, i'm not going to go all the way but you want to get that to zero before you eat all right so now you see you need campfire ash so let's i don't think i have any oops oh actually i do I right, had a little bit set the side. So every time you uh, burn your fire, you've probably seen that before, you'll end up with some campfire ash. Uh, if not, I've done a short tutorial on um, uh, campfires or small campfires. And as long as you have it in your inventory, and again, uh, it's right here, campfire ash, you just hit E to insert, and then you'll get this little bowl dripping water. Now, if you are still getting rain, which I am not, you can just wait for the rain to come and uh, fill this meter up. So what we're going to do, since I'm not getting rain, is we're going to use the uh, the Biden or Beaton. I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and just drink this. Probably overhydrated, but um, that's clean water. We'll go ahead and use it just for the point of showing you. So you're just going to drag this to the circle until it turns green. And you can see that it fills up a bit. Now, you don't actually um, need clean water. When you come to the river, you can just grab this and it'll fill up. Um, you can use dirty water. It doesn't matter if it's going on mud, right? So then once it's complete, you'll see that um, that that prompt goes away and you see use. So now you're going to make your mud logs from the mud that you've pulled out of the river and the campfire ash and then you'll see it converts into mud bricks I should say so you can make quite a few things with mud bricks uh, storage box is a good one mud walls of all shapes and sizes uh, fireplace um, you can also use mud to create a charcoal furnace which will give you lots of charcoal and campfire ash as well as a mud forge which allows you to uh, forge um, metal weapons and we'll look at that in another tutorial but for now we'll just take a look at uh, you know the aesthetics of the mud building are nice it, it still actually leaks when it rains a bit but um, for the purpose of this video I'll just show you how to uh, build a mud wall. So the first thing is you will have already had to have built uh, sorry, a frame 
So this is just a frame wall. So I've built the frame and then built the wall against it. Um, so you have the frame wall here. And now um, we actually need to go to the notebook, go to mud, and pick the type of wall we want. I think I'll do what I have here. Yeah, I'll do another window. I think that looks better. It looks a little bit of light. So you can see you need to put it onto a frame wall. It won't go onto a frame of any sort by itself. And in fact, it'll say requires frame frame wall if, if you don't have one. All right, so now that we've put it here, it's just like anything else. Uh, you're going to grab your mud brick. You're going to walk over to the wall. And you just need to put them in. Most structures require one mixer full. Um, some require more than that. All right, and then when we put the last piece in, it converts to dry. It dries uh, rather instantly. So uh, that's pretty much it. I've got one left over here. One thing you can also do with this um, is harvest and when you harvest it what you're going to get are two molds um, so you get an empty mold I think my inventory is probably full and I will show you what to do with these you get three of them um, I'll show you what to do with these in another video but you'll have to have the mud forge built so that's going to be it for this one I'd like to keep them short if you enjoyed this please leave a like and a subscribe on the channel do appreciate the support and I'll see you back here soon